Today on White Shadow Fair, we're making strawberry and cream roll cake. You might know this as an old fashioned jelly roll cake. So first you're going to start off by getting your strawberries cleaned. I soak mine in cold water with a little bit of baking soda for about five minutes. Rinse them off and now I am just dicing them. And yes, I have more than the required amount of strawberries, but I like to add some extra along the sides. A typical jelly roll cake is going to be made in something called a jelly roll pan that is a 15 by 10 inch pan with about a 1 inch lip along the side of it. If you do not have that size pan, you can use something slightly smaller than that. If you use a pan that is bigger than that, it will be too thin um, and it probably won't work out right. So here I'm just dicing up these strawberries and putting I'll put plenty of them on the side as I serve this. So now for the filling on the inside, very easy unflavored jelly gelatin, some cold water, heavy whipping cream, and vanilla extract. So in a very small bowl, I don't know if you can tell that small bowl is there, I put one teaspoon of unflavored gelatin and a tablespoon and a half of cold water. I'm just stirring it up and I'm going to put that off to the side. So in a large mixing bowl, you are going to mix a half cup to a full cup, your choice of powdered sugar, one and a half cups of very cold heavy whipping cream and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. You are going to whip this together until it gets fairly thick and is almost forming peaks. Once you get to this thick stage of the whipping cream, you are going to heat up in the microwave for about five seconds that gelatin that you made and slowly stir it in to the mixture. What you are doing is making a stabilized whipping cream so that it will stay this way for several days. If you didn't add the gelatin, your whipping cream would start to break down and get back to a watery state very quickly. So this whipped cream goes excellent on the side of things. It doesn't have to be used just in this and it depends on how sweet you like it. So if you like it very sweet, add the full cup of powdered sugar. If you don't like it very sweet at all, add a half a cup. Now it's time to make that jelly roll cake. You're gonna need eggs, sugar, oil, buttermilk, vinegar, vanilla extract, all-purpose flour, baking powder, and salt. Start by preheating your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and add a cup of flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt. Mix that and put that off to the side. Then you need another bowl for your wet ingredients. You're going to add four room temperature eggs, which you are going to beat until they become very frothy and kind of change to a lighter color yellow. Slowly add three-fourths of a cup of granulated sugar. To this mixture, you're going to add two tablespoons of oil, two tablespoons of buttermilk, and one teaspoon of vinegar. Now it's time to add the dry ingredients. You're simply going to sift or whisk it very well before you add it to your mixture and slowly beat that in just until combined. Line your pan with a piece of parchment paper, spray the bottom of the pan, put the parchment paper down and then spray on top of the parchment paper and pour your batter on top of that. Give it a little shake to make sure that all the air bubbles are out and then place it in the preheated 350 degree oven. At this moment, I remembered, oh yeah, I forgot to add the vanilla. So you see that I added it there. Luckily, some mistakes can be fixed. You're going to bake this for 12 to 15 minutes. And while it is baking, you are going to take a tea towel that is clean and sprinkle it with powdered sugar because you're going to turn your cake out onto this so that you can roll it up when it comes out of the oven. So now I'm removing the cake from the oven and I'm flipping it onto the powdered sugar towel. Remove that parchment paper. Add a little bit more powdered sugar to the top that'll help it from sticking to the tea towel. And then you're just going to roll up this cake and put it on a cooling rack and let it cool completely. Do not, I repeat, do not unroll it until it is 100% cool or your cake 
will split and break. So here you can see that it's got a nice roll to it and we are going to put it on some parchment paper and start adding that whipped cream that we made earlier. So take it out of the refrigerator and spread that all over. From there, we're going to top it with those strawberries. Put as many or as few as you want. And this is a good time to mention that you don't have to make this a strawberry whipped cream cake. It could just be plain whipped cream. You could add some fresh peaches in there, some raspberries, anything that you think sounds good. Once you have the berries spread out, it is time to roll it up. You're going to take your time and use a large knife or an offset spatula to try to keep everything in there. Remember that the whipped cream is a soft filling. You see me just kind of stuffing things back in there as they fell out. And don't worry, we will make it look pretty when we put it on the tray. So I'm topping it with a little bit of powdered sugar and just transferred it to the tray that I'm going to serve it on. I'm going to put strawberries around the outside and this came out delicious. Everybody in my family enjoyed it and I hope that you will give this a try as well. This was my first jelly roll cake and I'm sure I will be making many more to come. Even though I'm not a professional, I do like trying to give myself a challenge and this definitely fell into that category and it worked out wonderfully. Thank you for joining me here at White Shadow Fair. Consider subscribing and hitting that like button.